This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. Hey guys, Philip Chan here for the iPhone Apps Review, taking a look at an app today called Papyrus um, from papyrus.net. This is a free app, and please ignore the little swirls you see on the background, it's just my screen cover. Um, this is a free app that's designed as a workplace, a workflow organizer, where instead of having to rely on constant emails between you and your colleagues for different projects, filling up your inbox, instead you can use this simple app which will keep emails or messages limited and focused um, with tasks assigned through this app um, to help fix the whole inbox overload or inbox clutter problem and organize projects to be done quickly and efficiently with ease. Now this isn't this may not look like a lot on the main screen, let me kind of walk you through it. Um, basic idea with Papyrus is you, you create a work group, add your contacts to it, then set up a task or set up you know, a project and within that project as a project coordinator you send out tasks to each each person within um, the project and these tasks don't have to be seen by everyone else in the group they can just be sent back and forth between you and them and then they disappear once completed as messages so here's the main layout on the screen over here you can see all the different um, areas in papyrus there's inbox main announcements where you can um, add as needed. Today, another folder as well. You see some of the uh, messages I've put in there. Next, scheduled someday, and ones e stuff you've sent out. Um, and also the ability to look at all different tasks sent out, same as what I've sent out. Um, adding projects, you just add new projects at the very bottom. Tap that. Describe your project, we'll call it testing. Add a description, and we'll call it Oops. Um, papyrus test. Hit return, and then you'll have it show up right there. And you can change security level. This is really important. If it's going to be shared or restricted, team for restricted team members can see only those tasks they're assigned to. Forward them require approval. Or shared is the opposite when any team member can see and access tasks in the projects. Set the team, set the workflow, and there's even more options under that. As you can tell there's a lot of customization options here in Papyrus. So I'll hit done. We just created this whole new task. You can see it right there. New project actually. You can create task underneath that. Initially you will need to sign up and make an account with Papyrus. I'm signed in currently. Um, but after that you'll be automatically signed in. So let's go back to inbox and let's say we want to create some new task. Okay? So hit that. What to do. Make a description of the task. We'll say uh, create um, files. Okay. And we we'll assign it a project. We'll assign it to the testing project and we'll say who is it to. Well, here's a couple of fake contacts, including myself, Philip Chan. Um, I will hit Sammy Wilmer. And we can, oops, we can go ahead and choose the due date. If it's due as soon as possible, we can add that. And this nifty little calendar view will pop into place. Go ahead and choose which folder it will go into. We have all these right here. Excellent. And if any approvals are um, required, this is similar to like the CC function, carbon copy function on emails, uh, will basically allow users to approve or reject a task. Um, and once that's done, it will then disappear from his inbox, um, which is a really useful feature. And you can even split it into steps as well. <laughs> a really a lot of customization here, really impressive. Finally, there's approvals. Oh, sorry, I just did approve. <laughs> I meant to say. Finally, there's also attachments. If you need, and you probably will in any project, you just add attachments. This is a great feature. It's integrated with Box.net, with Google Drive, and photos from your own um, camera or one stored already on your drive. So go ahead and cancel. You can add those files as needed. We'll hit done, and then we'll hit project done, and that is sent. So that is basically the pipe. Now I've been really impressed with the support behind the whole Papyrus project. Um, the developers behind this have created an excellent YouTube intro to the app showing off just exactly how this app functions with some great cartoon graphics. Really well done. I strongly encourage you all to check it out. Also they have a website which is full of support, help, and more info. And just a whole lot of neat stuff to help users get into the hang of Papyrus. And for a free app, I mean this is very impressive. You can work across multiple platforms. It's available on computer PCs for different um, for Android, for iOS, um, iPads, iPhones, everything. Create your tasks, delegate them out, get overviews, and see what's going on. I mean, it's just a very impressive app, and I've I'm, I'm really been 
um, I'm just feeling like this is a, a solid workflow manager. If you're going to be doing any sort of project with other people and rather find something a little better than the traditional email, this is it right here. All right, guys. Philip Chan uh, for Android Apps Review and this is Papyrus. It's a solid four and a half out of five. Go ahead and check it out today.